A uh, little uh, silly season news going on. Uh, one thing that was announced uh, this week, Matt Kenseth is coming back, kind of. He's going to Legacy Motor Club with his buddy Jimmy Johnson. He's going to be the competitive advisor. Fancy title. What does it mean, Lee? I, I think it means he's he's going to babysit the drivers while Jimmy's in England. <laughs> you know, plain, plain and simple. Uh, but, you know, with his depth of commitment to the sport and to physical fitness, I mean, I, I see Matt jogging, you know, through Davidson in the morning. He's out riding his bike. He's in really good shape. Um, you know, he gives that organization the opportunity to kind of have a, a conduit over to Toyota because he did he does know what it's like to use all the resources at Toyota he worked with Eric Jones during you know the Joe Gibbs racing days and uh Joey Cohen who's you know over there um they work together at Roush Fenway Racing and so um I I think that he will be a really good addition as far as working with young drivers like John Hunter Nemechek and and Eric Jones and helping with the transition to Toyota next year. Yeah, two comments. Jimmy needed a bicycle partner. No, um, that's true. Okay, yeah. <laughs> and, and and Matt didn't particularly enjoy the use of the uh, Toyota simulator. Uh, there you go. All right. <laughs> that makes sense. All right. Hey, uh, over at Stuart Haas, we still don't know what Eric Almirola's plans are for next year. You know, he retired and then came back. So do we have any idea what he's going to do next year? Or is he? He may have decided, but has he told anybody, Lee? Well, I've I've heard multiple things. One of the scenarios had him running the Xfinity Series with Smithfield over at Joe Gibbs Racing. Um, since then, I've been told that Smithfield is going to concentrate on MLB football and the ESPN corn tur- cornhole tournament. So uh, I was even told Coach Gibbs went up and and you know advocated for Smithfield to join JGR. So you know, interesting little nugget there. The latest I've heard of about Eric though is that he could possibly take on a role with Ford where he would be a driver coach driver advisor very similar to what Josh Wise does in the Chevrolet camp and and you hear drivers you know especially the younger drivers talk about Josh Wise all the time and how beneficial he has been to their training and, and you know just getting them up to speed on on that side of it so you know that might be a role that he relishes along with his part-time TV work with with Fox so I'll be curious to see how that works out. And, um, you know, that still leaves the 10 open. And, um, you know, I th- I think we'll hear shortly who's going in that car. I've been told that Cole Custer will remain in the, the double zero on the Xfinity side. And um, Riley Herbst will remain in, in the car that he's currently driving. But um, there were rumblings on... Tuesday morning that we might hear some Carson Hosbar news today, and and I anticipate that he'll be at Spire Motorsports. How long it's going to be Spire Motorsports um, with Gamebridge coming in and and you know their level of support, we'll have to wait and see. But I think that right now the you know the complexion of the sports changing dramatically as you know over the last twelve months. Well, Reed, we've looked at you know Stuart Haas and. You know, they got four cars, but I'm not sure they have sponsorship for maybe even two of the cars. So what, could no, they go to three next year? No, they, they don't because their contract with Ford says you must run four cars. And, so, you know, consequently, I don't think that, um, I think it's way better than a 50-50 proposition that Al Marol is not going to be back in the 10 car. I think, you know, we pretty much all assume that. Um but as far as as far as who the drivers are, um, you know, you you know who three of them are. So um, the fourth remains to be seen. Uh, if Almirola does take a role with Ford, then I think that's even more of an indication that he's not going to be in the ten car next year because that you know if he signs a a multi year deal with Ford, then um, Stuart Haas is relationship with Ford ends after the or or at least it's up for renewal at the end of next season so it'll be interesting to see how that all plays out well each week on the Riley Auto Parts Pit Reporters will give you a chance to go to goprn.com and vote on our poll and this week's question is it's not really a question it's kind of a statement and you get to react advancing in the playoffs it's fine the way it is gives too much weight to the regular season should reward postseason consistency more 
or should only be about wins and leading laps? Last week, we asked you, what are you most excited about with the new schedule? And this is pretty interesting. 40% said Indy back to the Oval. Then we got 31% said the All-Star Race back at North Wilkesboro. And only 29% said Cup being in Iowa. That came from the folks who live in, in Iowa. <laughs> <laughs> I, I kind we of got a good audience that, in Iowa. Well, but you know, if you have watched what High V and IndyCar have been able to do in their, in, you know, partnership together to build that track, to build that event, when NASCAR looks at Iowa, if they want to continue to bring out masses of people, you're going to have to have some top of the line entertainment. These 90 hair bands are not going to get it because if you have Ed Sheeran on the IndyCar side. And you know they bring Bubba whoever on the <laughs> on the cup side. It, I hadn't it, heard of him. Yeah, Bubba whoever, uh, and not Bubba. No, but anyway, um, it, you're going to have to find some way to entice them to the cornfield. Yeah, it's, it's a great track. I've had a chance to be oh, there a fabulous. couple of times. So, yep, maybe things will. Uh, you know, I expect the crowd to show up. The uh, first time to see, can chance to see the cup drivers there. It's a track and a trek because wherever you stay, you have to drive a little ways to get That's to right. it. That's right. Was it 45 minutes from Des Moines? From Des Moines, yeah. yeah. Not bad. Nah, hey, not bad. Not, hey, hey, not worse than Michigan. Yeah, I was going to say, that's exactly the place I was going to talk about. You got to get from Michigan, got to get from Detroit or Ann Arbor to get to Michigan. So 